50 million Americans are living with an autoimmune disorder, making it one of the leading causes of chronic illness in the country. In fact, there are more than 80 autoimmune diseases. For most, there's no cure, but management is key. But that may soon change, as a procedure in clinical trials right now may be the key to keeping their disease in remission. Marty Salt explains. Celine Dion, diagnosed with stiff person syndrome, an autoimmune disease that causes uncontrollable spasms. I have no choice but to concentrate on my health at this moment. Stiff person syndrome joins a long list of incurable, debilitating autoimmune diseases, including multiple sclerosis. I had this numbness that was going um, down the inside of my legs and I had a little bit of numbness in my hands. Kathy Miska has been living with MS for more than 20 years. The disease has progressed and left her in a wheelchair. It's hard. It's, it feels like you're giving up a little bit of your independence. As with many autoimmune diseases, they get worse over time. And over time, medications and therapies sometimes stop working. Autologous stem cell transplants may be a last resort. So what we try and do is suppress the the immune response. First patients receive high dose chemotherapy to wipe out the immune system. Then blood stem cells are taken from the patient or a donor, processed, and then put back into the patient. There's been a number of studies showing that the transplants for MS can be effective. 70% of MS patients can stay in remission for five years. It's also been shown up to 70% of patients with systemic sclerosis remain in remission 10 years after transplantation. We're having such a profound effect on the immune system. And a profound effect on the lives of people living with autoimmune diseases. Marty Salt, 16 News Now. And if you'd like to learn more, just head to our website and click on this story. We'll be right back. Stay with us.